Hello friends, welcome back to this channel Ways and Tales and let's continue the novel The Book of Secrets. So far we have read part 1 wherein we have discussed first section The Administrator and the second section The Great Riddle. The Great Riddle is all about the World War I and we have discussed how it has devastated this place Kikunu and uh, how World War I has killed this lady Mariamo and we don't know actually who has killed her and uh, no one has made any effort to locate the killers of the murderers of Mariamo who was so brutally uh, murdered in her home. Nevertheless, uh, this man Noor Muhammad Vipa has decided to give his son Ali uh, to the uncle and aunt of Mariamo that is the Mukhi Jamal and his wife Khanum and he has decided to move from Kikuno to his place. He came back to Moshi from Moshi he went to Dar es Salaam and uh, he is married now uh, in this part 2 which is about uh, the section first which is about the father and the son. The father here is Noor Muhammad Pipa and the son is Ali and earlier we know that uh, he was his wife Remti you know it's the second wife Remti. She has already uh, told this man Noor Muhammad Pipa that I will not raise the son of another lady but after many years of marriage she is unable to bear a son. So they have no option but to call back Ali and Ali was being called uh, from Khanu who is a widow now. His, her husband, this man Jamalji is dead and uh, she is living a very impoverished life but the people, Noor Muhammad Pipa has no concern uh, with this lady that she has raised uh, his son. No, he has just went, he has just went there. He has not went there. He has sent a message and uh, brought his son Ali back to his place. And now Ali is doing very well in Dar es Salaam. He is studying. And after a few years, we are being told that he is married. He is married to a very wealthy lady and he has inherited a lot of wealth uh, from his in-law. So he is living a very lavish life you know having lot of wealth and enjoying but he is flirtious in nature and uh, there is one lady one girl actually she's a student in a school and her name is rita the next section in part two which is entitled ali and rita is actually based on both of them and uh, rita is younger uh, from ali many years younger from ali and uh, their marriage their love uh, their courtship, their love affair could not be accepted in the place, Dar es Salaam. So they have decided to move away from the place. And this man, Ali, eloped with Rita to London. And in this section, Ali and Rita, we got to know about the married life of Ali and Rita. Now they have uh, two children, but they are not living happy. Marriage. Their marriage is not happy because as of the, we know about the nature of Ali, he is interested in some other woman. And uh, Rita is actually in a dilemma that what to do with her life uh, since she was uh, her all the ties were being cut off. But after many years, you know, her parents actually revived the connection and this has given her a confidence to go back to her family and to leave this man Ali. Now, the last part is actually entitled Grigory. Now, who is Grigory? Grigory is another school teacher with this narrator P.S. Fernandez and why this Grigory is important. This man is actually telling us about uh, the life of Alfred Corbin and because he is uh, the friend of Alfred Corbin and his wife Anne. So they have exchanged few letters with each other, uh, this Alfred Corbin and uh, Grigory and of course Anne. So through their letters we get to know about Alfred Corbin which is very important for P.S. Fernandez. That's why this man Grigory is important. Now one thing that you have to remember, this is all the story about. In the end, whether he is able to disclose the secrets in the end how the novel ended the novel ends with an epilogue in the epilogue epilogue we are being told that rita rita has told this man ps fernandez to stop his search and uh, this history the you know this revelation of past the revelation of the history won't uh, help anyone and she uh, asked him to uh, stop his research and he accepted the this from rita and uh, she has taken the diary back from P.S. Fernandes. P.S. Fernandes happily gave him the diary as well as the secondary material that he has collected during the course of this research. He has handovered everything to uh, Rita and decided to move to uh, to some uh, and decided to you know uh, and decided to go to a vacation and where he is going is his one of his students Sona has offered him uh, tickets to US and Canada for one month wherein all his students want to meet him you know they have planned to meet their uh, teacher so they have arranged his tickets now for one month he will go back uh, he will go to US and Canada meet his students and uh, then after coming back he has already uh, got one position as a teacher and then he will join this position. So what happened to the book of secrets, the book of diary, sorry, the diary, the diary, uh, the, uh, what happened to the diary that uh, the process 
of revealing the history has been stopped by Rita and he has accepted the offer. Uh, he has accepted uh, the proposal given by Rita because this diary is not only revealing the history of Mariam or Pipa, it is in a way revealing the history of all the important characters that are being discussed in the novel. It talks, it will talk about P.S. Fernandez itself because Rita in one way or the other is related to P.S. because she is a t uh, she was a former student of P.S. Fernandez also. So her uh, life would come up, you know, her affair with Ali came up uh, through uh, this revelation of history. That's why she has said that there is no point of discussing past. So it's better to close it as it is. So this is what happened with the diary. And of course, the question that whether Ali is the uh, son of Alfred Corbin or is the son of Pipa, these questions are also implicitly addressed. Uh, implicitly answered so it is up to the readers uh, to interpret to decode the messages that are being in one way or the other revealed in the text now coming to the themes of the novel one thing which is very important that it's a diasporic text so immigration the shams uh, community which is immig which is migrated from india to africa you know you need to mention them of course, colonial period, how the Africans were treating, uh, were being treated by the colonizers, be it Britishers and Germans. Then war, how the World War I has devastated the Africa, despite of the fact that Africans has no direct involvement in the war, still they are being dragged in the war. Then another thing that you can discuss is memory, how memory plays a pivotal role. Now, P.S. Fernandez is, you know, has got this diary in 1988 and he is filling the facts with his imagination from 1913 to 1988. So memory plays a very crucial role. Then history. History, you know, not only the public history, not only the history of Africa is important, but of course, the personal history of all the characters is intertwined, you know, intertwined with the history of the public history of the, uh, uh, the collective history. So this history is important, memory is important, World War First is important, and of course, if we are discussing any text as a colonial text, and if they have, if the writer has provided us the information after the post-colonialism, you know, after the post-slash-colonial time that the colonial period has ended, now the power has been shifted to the natives. So how the natives are treating, you know, when the when there is change in power, then how things change for that uh, country. This also becomes very important. So colonialism is important as well as post-colonial elements in this novel are equally important. Post-slash-colonialism, you know, when the colonial era ended, then the post-Africa, uh, how the natives are treating the people of Africa, whether things have changed or not. But what we have uh, read through this novel that actually things have turned worse for these people, for these immigrants, because Africans have decided to nationalize the properties. And when they are nationalizing the properties, they have clearly mentioned that all these properties will become public, which are owned by the immigrants. So Noor Muhammad Pipa is also an immigrant, right? So his pub, his property, the uh, Amin, um, Amin mansion, you know, the main mention that he has, uh, you know, that he has formed throughout these years with his uh, hard work have been decided to become public. Now, all the rights of uh, Pipa will be taken away, will be snatched away as a result of which he has committed suicide. You know, how his life ended, his life ended with a suicide. He has committed suicide. So this is very important. And these all are the major themes. Of course, the structure is important, uh, wherein you will uh, discuss uh, the two parts and prologue, epilogue and the miscellanies. And the themes are very important. Major characters are very important and equally important are the minor characters of the novel. So this is all for the novel M.G. Basanji's novel, The Book of Secrets. In the next class, we will discuss Amitav Ghosh's The Shadow Lines. Thank you so much, everyone.